everyone, God of Gold back at it again with another tutorial video. Now, last time I was discussing about uh, modding and stuff, and then I think before that I was talking about coding. This round, I am going to show you some ideas that will actually amplify your skills at making some brand new icons for your mod. Now, before I begin, I uh, have this folder that I highly recommend you download. Uh, it's in the link in the description down below, but this is a shared pact, based more specifically a collection of some of the assets that I have found in my times of modding. Now, I think, uh, maybe I'll have it in two sources. Maybe I'll have Mega and, uh, Mediafire, depending on whichever is easier for you guys. I don't know if I could maybe pour it in another source. Maybe, you know, just in case if those other two other downloads are faulty. But, uh, enough with that. Let's, uh, get on with the idea. So using this resource pack. Now, usually I go into this folder, but I also have my own folder full of specific collections of icons. For example, I made some custom ones. Some are old, I will say. Like, for example, this declining thing right here that I have highlighted, that's supposed to represent population decline. And, well, it looked okay for the time, but of course, as time went on, I, it grew to be very bland. So that's the thing. That's a big lesson when it comes to gaining experience and knowing what icons you want to make. For example, if you can't just jump in cold turkey. You have to evolve with it. Like, you have to understand it as time went on. For me... Uh, it took roughly three months to master and took an additional two to three months more to perfect. Now, it may depend from person to person. I'm not here to judge. I'm only here to lend advice to those in need. Uh, that's the purpose of this tutorial, of course. Now, anyways, there's so many icons you can pick from here. Uh, you got from fires, swastikas, orthodox, question marks, flags, crowns, now, and helmets, military, symbols, emblems, people, etc. Now, what you can do with this is all you have to do is find the right background for your icon to fit on. So, for example... Let me just go back to the other folder for a sec. So, idea backgrounds. These are some options that you can go to, or you can go to the folder that I have, which uh, actually features some custom ones of my own. Now, some, I will say, I didn't make like these, for example. Actually, no, wait, no. I recolored these. But someone else made a completely different version on my mod server. I don't know if you would find it. I'll definitely probably add it somewhere uh, as time goes on. Aside from that, uh, all you gotta do is think about the icon that you want. Alright? And, uh, no, not focus. Uh, I'll, I'll explain focus uh, icons. It's really straightforward as well. It's really similar to this. So now once you have the correct icon, say you want the diamonds, the originals. So you click it, drag, and drop. Now this is Photoshop, mind you. Now it could work for other uh, similar softwares. It's mainly not that different in terms of, you know, details. However, I highly recommend using Photoshop because, well, I this software alone took me a while to learn, but I'd rather not get into too much detail because, well, that'll hold up the video. 
I, I might explain it uh, someday, but it, the point is, again, you have to build with it. That's all I have to say. It takes time to learn it, but when you do, it's worth it, I'm telling you. Now, anyways, enough about me and the workshop. Now, let's go back in and see what we can do. So, the diamond, right here. Um, what you can do, you know, you can move it around, you can uh, do all this, uh, all these options here, you can draw on it, but that's not the point here. The point is, if you want to make your own Hoi 4 icon, you have to use some um, pieces. So like, for example, focus and idea icon pieces. This is where uh, you find a lot of stuff. For example, if you want, let's say, I don't know, with this diamond, you want to put in this artillery uh, cannon. You can do that. Same thing. You click, drag, drop. Now you can center it, you can position it, or here's another good way you can do it. If you want to have two guns on, all, on both sides, try this. Do the same thing, right click, horizontal, and there. Now this is very handy because, uh, say if you want to make like an icon where, I don't know, like this isn't perfect of an icon but you can adjust it if you would like. But if you are happy the way it is, that's fine. Although if you want to increase um, quality on the icon itself, I highly recommend, I will leave a link in the description below for this as well. Uh, go to the Discord server. Uh, I don't know if this link may die. It probably will. Uh, I'll have to find a... Um, a permanent link but the thing is go down there and they can give you tips it's the artist uh, server of for Hoi for modding it's really helpful they give you tips now I will say this though before you go there yes you may find some toxic uh, comments but remember one thing is that nobody is well they're not really targeting you they're just they criticize the work so if you do an icon or you try to make one and you're still in your early stages just understand that be prepared for that that's all i'm going to say if you want to go there for advice and someone gives you it you know that it will help some one way or another no matter how harsh the criticism is it will help i I guarantee that okay so anyways enough of that now let's find some more pieces now obviously you know you click you drag you drop it in now let's say uh, for um, to add some effects like say for example you want you want some clouds or something now normally this wouldn't work especially on a ground unit unless if it's like maybe like a uh, battlefield fog or something but the thing is is that this usually works for like air types of units so like for example see these eyeballs I could actually uh, disable these layers and leave the clouds on see click this leave that on now, as I go along with this tutorial, you probably notice that I am showing, you know, some tips on this. Well, yes, I am, only because, you know, there may still be some form of confusion, so I want to try and trust what I can. So, let's say you want some type of an air craft to go right here, you know, to represent sky. Well, there's plenty you can choose from. You can go fighters, bombers interceptors etc so let's just say for an example let's just get this uh i think it's a zero from japan oh sorry um so if you zoom out you can truly see the detail here now if you really want to make it look like it's a sky here's what you can do disable like i previously showed you just a second ago disable the background now if you want 
like an actual sky looking background. Here's the tip. You have to make sure, of course, it's blue. Uh, but once you have it, like, uh, let me try this one. Because some icons, yeah, like this one, for example, not all of them fit the appropriate size for it. So the best way is to run some tests and, you know, just trial and error. That's all I can say. So here's what you can do. You can resize this like I did. See? Now I'm going to center this. And now you may notice the layers, uh, the layers down here. You can see the rectangle is above everything. So all you have to do, click and drag. Now sometimes, you know, like, yeah, you see? You could do something like that. You can do a different background. If you want to drop a ring into the background instead, you can. There's so many options you can do here. So, like, uh, for example, I made a, uh, an icon for the United States in my mod. Here, let me show you really quick. If you drag here, you can create a new tab. This is called U.S. Corporate Corruption. This is when, you know, <laughs> uh, greedy hands like money, so they, don't, they usually don't care about the population. And this would cause, like, negative stability modifiers for sure. Granted, you'll increase your industry slightly, but uh, in exchange, you will lose a lot of stability for it. So if you play the game uh, with the mod on, uh, also, I forgot to mention, when you have mods, uh, this is from the last video, if you are running mods, please make sure the check mark in the launcher is clicked because like the checkbox because if it's not the mod won't launch it's designed like that for a reason i don't know why i'm not the creator of it just please bear with me okay so you could do an icon like this uh now i also have to mention um one last thing before i go maybe i might do a more in-depth video on this but before i go i highly recommend that you do drop shadows. Yep, here's what you can do. There are two ways you could do this. You can double click on this layer and go to drop shadow, or you can right click blending options. See, look, right click blending options. You click that. Now, if you go to drop shadow, as you can see, it's darker around the edges. Yes, you can edit the distance, like you could do this. You can increase the spread, which uh, you have to really balance this out in terms of, you know, Hoi 4 icon making. You can do this, but there's so many options you can do. Uh, I highly recommend that if you have Photoshop, just give it a whirl, you know, just, just study up on it a bit. Like, try to look at tutorials. There is plenty online. I'm sure there are. I've seen them myself, and some have actually helped me. Um, but if you guys really want a tutorial of, like, what I know of Photoshop so I can help you, uh, I, just comment down below, then I'll make it. If I get enough comments, maybe, uh, tell you what, if this video gets 10 likes and 10 comments telling me, hey, can you make a tutorial, I'll do it. On, and I promise you, it will come out. Uh, I think I would come out with weekly videos. I don't know how often. I know it's a little wacky, but just hang in there. I will get them ready. And uh, I hope this video was somewhat helpful. You know, just trial and error, like I said. And yeah, I, that's pretty much it for right now. And if you guys have any questions, you also can comment on that. Uh, you can also go to my Discord uh, servers in the description. And I will see you next time. Later.